Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of our uh, UWO uh, playing here, teaching tutorials, let's play, whatever you want to call it. UWO seems to be the most popular hit amongst everybody on my channel, so we're going to try to make more content with this. Um, and here's a bit of uh, uh, content that I think that... Mm, I had a conversation with somebody lately that kind of triggered it, but most players, I would say hate the PvP. I say most. And it's a big turnoff to the game if you're somebody who is in the game for the trade and the adventure and the sailing but not for getting ganked. <laughs> uh, I play a lot of World of Warcraft and I understand that feeling and in here it's not as frequent but it does happen. Say you're sailing back from getting your spices or from Nanban and you get beat bad on the way back somewhere around Africa or in the middle of the Caribbean somewhere or something along those lines or the Southeast Asia and they take all your stuff. Now players generally are pretty nice they will return your items they just kinda want the notoriety and fame they don't do this for the money um, but that's okay if they did for the money that's all part of the game I try not to get upset it happens every once in a while but there is ways to avoid the battles with them um, and so, uh, if you can't avoid pirates, uh, you know, completely, there are ways around it. There are items that you can use that you can get out of jail free, uh, prevent that, I believe. But for the most part, um, you're kind of just stuck with, uh, you're kind of getting stuck with the fact that you're going to get ganked every once in a while. But you can avoid battles altogether with computer players, which that happens too a lot. And I've had even though I haven't been pirated necessarily I have been battled by computers and uh, they have ruined me as well so it is important to have ways to get out of those battles um, uh, there are ways to do it um, there are ceasefire agreements which are not uh, always uh, going to work but then there are tribute goods for brigands which um, effect uh, have the same effect Sister, and this is sorry. This is a fleet battle. This isn't going to stop you from having actual battle battle. This isn't going to stop you from having deck battles. I believe, I could be wrong, but it's not the one I would recommend using. I would use tribute goods for brigands. Now you could buy some of these from some players. Um, you can get them from. Uh, I think there's one guy in like Lisbon that sells them, but he doesn't sell a lot, and you can only like ten to fifteen at a time, I believe. So, I'm here to teach you how to craft them. Now, crafting them does take some significant investment but crafting can be done with the mogul's memoir um, I forget exactly how I got a hold of the mogul's memoir but there is a path to doing it and if you search into uh, the Google search and you find mogul's memoir on the actually I could probably look it up for you um, but when you get it it has this way of making find good storage to whatever this says what does it say? find good storage to brigands packing treasure to offer other pirates it needs five gold and five lumber and five storage and one accounts skill um, so you can buy the gold you can buy the lumber and you can make it so long as you have five storage and you have this book otherwise there you know the process of getting all of this can be a little hard getting gold is not cheap getting lumber is not cheap you can make lumber you can make gold if you have the skills to make those things and you have the books to make those things great otherwise if you want to just buy these items and do it that's one way get, get yourself a stack and keep that on hand. Um, that's what I'm trying to do with this character. Um, he does not have the storage skill though, unfortunately. He only has a level 4 storage. So I need to get to rank 5 storage and in order to do that I need to kinda like grind fishing and keep using the um, fishing book which is, uh, where is it? Uh, Fisherman's Arts book and then keep using that over and over again until I've gotten myself to storage level 5. It's not going to take me long, but I do need to invest in some time on fishing in order to do that and kind of do that kind of at sea AFK, getting all your fish and then using the fisherman's art to uh, convert it. Uh, remember, try your best to do your skills also while out at sea if you have management. Uh, that's a second side story thing, but we've talked about management in other episodes. But, anyways, use fisherman arts to build up your storage. That way, you have the level five storage and the ranks one accounting, which you could just purchase from anybody if you don't already have it and then you can get to using Mogul's Memoir. So, that being said, I want to make sure I know how to get Mogul's Memoir. Um, so, just doing a quick search on the side here. 
um, Mogul's Memoir, Uncharted Waters, and I'm using the Fandom. Sometimes I use that, sometimes I don't. Um, but it looks like you can get Mogul's Memoir after a $1 million investment st uh, in Veracruz. So, you know, spend some time investing there and you will get Mogul's Memoir. Um, I believe that's how it's done. I mean, getting a million, just get a, some reinvestment books, buy them from somebody, and then do that after you have the money. Uh, otherwise, you might be able to buy it from somebody who's selling it, I believe. If not, I could be wrong. But one way or another, that's how you get it. Million dollar investment into Veracruz, which is in the Caribbean, and then once you get it there, you can buy it and then bring it back with you. Um, and you can make the stuff. And so that's a good way to get the book, or it's the only way to get the book. So, um, anyways, so once you have the storage skill, then you can make it. Now, for me, my character, he happens also to be casting and handicrafts, which, one for one, you know, that's one of those things that the Mogul's Memoir needs, uh, is those items. So let's go into town here real quick, so I can show you um, what those items are. So my skills are handicrafts and, let's show you here, trade handicrafts and casting. Uh, the handicrafts and casting, and that's all you need in order to do this because you need another couple of books. You need metallurgy of precious metals so that you can smelt gold down from yellow ore, which you can buy from like a company shop or something, or you can collect it. We have to have collecting level two, and you can collect in certain areas of the uh, world, um, and you can collect yellow ore. It's not the most efficient way of doing it, but that's one way of doing it. If you want to take the long route and do the grinding, be my guest. Otherwise, just buy the yellow ore, buy the gold, whatever, if you don't have uh, casting level 13 to make yellow ore. I've been working this character as a smelting and casting character, so he's level 13 with a couple of boosts, no problem. Um, so that's one thing. And then the other one is making lumber. Lumber is made from, where are you? Shipwright Basics. It's a uh, um, craft handicrafts book, and there it is, producing lumber, easy. Get yourself some logs, either buy them from the stores or collect them at sea. Again, collection is another way to do this. Whenever you're out at sea and it's raining and you use the collect, I believe, you'll get logs, or logs will just happen to end up on your boat. Perfectly fine way to do it. This also has other things that are kind of useful items, and rat repellent. Look, I could even make large drills, whatever those are for, because I can make iron and I can make lumber. You know, those are things that, I don't know what large drills do. I'm going to make you drill for boring holes in other ships. I guess that's a a weapon, I guess, um, making a lifesaver, so on and so forth. So, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do with handicrafts and casting. But it, once you have all those items, whether you've bought them all or you've crafted them all, then you can do the Mogul's Memoir and use them. Now, whenever you're in battle and you want to use your uh, tribute grids for brigands, just as soon as you get into battle, pop this and then they'll go away and you can continue on. Uh, always good to have on hand um, when you're doing trying to mind your own business doing you know regular stuff that's not uh, PvP because this will work like uh, wonders every single time so I hope this information was helpful if you have any questions on how to make this and you want to see how to do it um, I suggest using the Ivy Row or the Uncharted Waters fandom or the Blogspot website that you can get if you just so I hope that was helpful, and I hope everybody um, Alright, well, it seems like my headphones are dying. So, take care, everyone. Chuck Thunder, signing out. Love you.